ವಿಶ್ವ ಜಲ ದಿನಾಚರಣೆ ಎಂದು ಗ್ರೋಹೆನಿಂದ ಪ್ರತಿ ಹನಿಯು ಅಮೂಲ್ಯ ಅಭಿಯಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಚಾಲನೆ ಖ್ಯಾತ ಜಲ ತಜ್ಞ ಆಬಿತ್ ಸುರ್ತಿ ಅವರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಗೃಹೆ ಸಹಭಾಗಿತ್ವ This is a simple problem to solve, yet most households don't address this. Imagine if we all took cognizance, took action, to get there how much water we could save every year. We and Grove believe water is the freshest resource. It's meant to be enjoyed and not wasted. This World Water Day, Grove Harm is on a mission to spread awareness and save 54 liters of water. Join us in this movement. Together, let us take a pledge. to rally together millions of people and millions of households, to shut, to fix, and to do what it takes to stop each drop from being wasted, and pave the way for a sustainable future, because this world is every drop that we can save. Come, join this movement and spread the word to make every drop count. Grow up, every drop counts. I was pleased. to learn that such a large multinational company like go go like groha focuses so heavily on sustainability i applaud them on pursuing such an important cause like water conservation please note when big brands really step up and continue to set and contribute to such noble causes it benefits all of us i believe that this campaign will reach millions and millions of people like it has happened for reaching out to me to find resonance in my journey and story so with my journey normally i am asked what inspired me my reply is i can't save ganges i can't save big rivers but that doesn't mean that i should sit at home quietly in watching water getting depleted day by day so my answer is if you can't save ganges save every drop and it starts my journey my story starts from the pavement i grew up on the pavement and i have seen fights people fighting for water one bucket of water my mama used to stand in the queue early in the morning at 4 o'clock and i was dragged behind her with a small utensil ke ek ek bucket pani ke sath chhota sa bartan bhi bhar kar aa jayega aur kabhi sometimes there are people who jump into the queue and big fight starts and nobody gets any water this is the beginning of the drops that started hitting me whenever i saw drops falling suppose i visit a friend we are sitting in the drawing room or balcony but somewhere in the kitchen or in other room where the washroom or bathroom when a tap is dripping the sound hits my ear and i tell my friend please get it repaired what is it so then friend will say why you worry only few drops are going we are not wasting drums of water i did not have any answer that second second point he told how contact what 
There are many simple ways any individual could do. It's not that some you have to have an NGO. Mine is a one man NGO. It could be one woman NGO. And one can start working. Now how to work? So one way is the saving drops, which is Proha is also doing it and I am also doing it. I started in two things and it has become a global movement. Now saving water like uh, uh, in uh, this uh, Covid times, it had become very difficult for me to go door to door knocking. They won't let me enter. So what we did, me and my plumber, we decided to clean up and correct all the leaking faucets of municipal toilets, which are just nobody is there. Then municipal offices, even Sundays nobody is there, it is locked. So I got the best time doing work for the Nagarpalika municipality. Especially we went to the post office, the whole building, all the texts we collected. Like that, I mean, there is so much to do. Only one person should decide it that I want to do this. When I go house to house, I motivate people, senior citizens who are sitting idle. I motivate them, I said, do something for water. Do something, if you can't do for water, do something for trees. Even when I had come to Bangalore or Bengaluru, when it was Bangalore, there were so many green belt, it was uh, totally green, I remember it. Now I see all skyscrapers coming up, tall buildings coming up, cutting down the trees. So how can we stop that? One person can start that movement to save trees. To save, another problem we are facing in Gujarat, there were so many sparrows coming early in the morning and waking me up. Now hardly one or two sparrows come and now the two sparrows have also disappeared. Where did they go? So to save birds, to save animals, to save plants, and as I said that when I go house to house, I tell senior citizens, please do something. At least plant a tree. In your life, just do one thing, one plant, one tree, and then people will, your family will remember, children will remember that look, my grandpa had planted this tree. Today we are eating mangoes or whatever fruits you are getting it, even sir, if they are not fruits. Sir, one more question, sir. The the campaign and the, the movement, whatever you have uh, started in Mumbai, you, you think you can start here in Bangalore also? It can be started anywhere in the world. Will you be taking the initiative sir, in Bangalore? Initiative, it, it's a one-man NGO. You can do that. Anybody can do that. Today, the whole world is doing it, globally. You can see my, if you go on my website, you will see German video, Singapore video, British video, there are so many people yes, sir. and they all have started. My motive is like BBC came to interview me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> BBC came to interview me. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So they gave me a proposal. They said that, Abhid, now you are a big brand. Why don't you have 100 plumbers and 100 volunteers to accompany you? And he, they said that work will go very fast. So I told them, BBC guys, that if I started working 
like that which you suggest that 100 plumbers and 100 volunteers, then I will not be able to tell individuals if I can.